Well, hello, my beautiful subscribers of YouTube. How are you doing? Well, let's just jump right into the video. Uh, this is my expedition, and I have that dreaded PO420 that everybody hates and they don't want to deal with. Catalytic system efficiency below threshold bank one, which is the uh, passenger side. The O2 is saying that uh, it's not getting the right reading it should be getting when the exhaust gases pass through the catalytic converter and uh, it's causing the uh, check engine light to come on and throwing that code. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do a little myth busting, something that I know a lot of video uh, videos on YouTube have been doing, a lot of people have been trying. We're going to go ahead and put in some uh, liquid stuff into the gas tank and see if it takes care of it. Now for me, one reason I'm doing this is uh, is because I really don't want to cut the catalytic converter off just yet. Uh, I don't find anything wrong with it. Uh, the honeycomb uh, material inside the catalytic converter seems to be okay. It's solid. It doesn't rattle. And this vehicle only has 148,000 miles on it. So relatively speaking, uh, most catalytic converters will last uh, close to 200,000 miles. So I wanted to go ahead and clean it out and see if we can actually get this... Uh, check engine light to go off if it doesn't work well i really didn't uh, lose anything uh, only for uh the uh liquid that we're going to put in it which was 13 dollars okay so what we're going to use here the liquid is lacquer thinner a lot of people swear by this that it works and i know in some extreme cases it might but there are a lot of cases i think it's a 50 50 split it's probably not going to work if your catalytic converter is already shot got a hole in it or if you have an exhaust leak now for my uh, vehicle. I don't have any exhaust leaks. The engine runs perfect. No problems whatsoever. So I thought I would just give this a shot and see how it goes. Now the rule is one gallon of this to 10 gallons of fuel and it usually works pretty well they say. If you have five gallons in your tank then cut it in about half. If you have 20 gallons in uh, gasoline use two gallons of this. So what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and put this in here. I've got the funnel kind of set up here. I'm going to do it with one hand. And I have to do most of my videos right now on my cell phone because my home computer decided to go south. I lost the hard drive with my Final Cut Pro, which I have been crying for a few days. I'm going to have to get another hard drive and do all that. So we're going to go ahead and dump this in here. You can see that. Pour the whole thing in there. And if it works, great. If not, well, we'll know. And maybe this will give you a little hope if you don't see anything wrong with your catalytic converter. You don't have any holes in it this actually may work there's a lot of testimonials online that people swear that it works and uh, like I said I don't want to cut the catalytic converter off just yet if I have to I will later because a lot of times when you put these catalytic converters back on if you worked on exhaust systems you know how hard it is to get those to seal up the right way and they are about a hundred dollars a pop just to buy the catalytic converter and probably another two hundred dollars just to install it so i'm gonna do it yourself for and uh i will do that myself later so there's the whole gallon and i picked this up at walmart it was only uh thirteen dollars for the entire gallon so i have about a half a tank of fuel in my vehicle and what we'll do is uh we'll go look at the mileage now my check engine light usually comes back on less than 200 miles i've reset it and about 150 miles, it'll pop right back on, and it'll say uh, PO420. All right, so the uh, vehicle's running, and you can see the mileage, 148,808 miles. So in about 149, uh, well, 150,000 miles, uh, we should have a check engine light back on if it doesn't work. And what this will be is a two-part video, and I'll just simply go back in here, and we're going to clear out these codes. <clears throat> and... Uh, get rid of it we'll go in here and say erase codes by the way guys I have a video on this OBD2 code reader it is a lifesaver we'll say yes we're going to erase it <clears throat> erase codes all right enter yes I want to erase this code and it's erase done and my check engine light is off. And as you can see, I have no check engine lights on whatsoever. So wish me luck, guys. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I hope this works. And if not, like I said, I'm not too worried about it. Now, I'm not too worried about letting this sit in the tank, ruining the seals and all that, you know, the stuff you hear online. 
it's just ridiculous. Uh, the gas you put in your vehicle is actually worse than a lot of stuff that you can uh, mix in with it to clean out your uh, engine and your uh, intakes, uh, seals, your uh, O2 uh, sensors, and your uh, catalytic converter. Okay, so that's a wrap. We got no more codes. It's done. So wish me luck. There's the mileage. And uh, I'll come back here in a couple of days when I get pretty close to 150,000 miles and give you a really good update let you know how it worked. And let's go outside and listen to the engine real quick. Uh, and I know that a lot of people say this stuff will harm your engine, but trust me, it won't harm your engine if you're going to be doing it over a day or so. And as soon as you're done, just put some fresh gas back in your tank, and this, is, this uh, lacquer thinner will be flushed out of your system. All right, and there we go. The engine is purring like a kitty. I mean, it just runs amazing for the mileage that it has on it. And you can see you could probably put coffee on it, a cup of coffee, and it wouldn't shake a bit. So I'm hoping this uh, stuff will maybe clean out the catalytic converter. The catalytic converter is bad on this side. I have one on this side, one on that side, and you have an O2 sensor in front and behind the catalytic converter. And the uh, O2 sensor behind the catalytic converter on this side over here, which is bank one, is the one that's saying that it's not liking what it's smelling coming through the exhaust system. So we'll see how that works out. So there you go, guys. I'll be back in a few days with an update. Stay tuned. If you like this video, subscribe and all that. Appreciate you guys. It's really helped me out. And uh, the money I make off of YouTube, I'm able to do these things and uh, help you guys out. So until then, hey, I'll see you guys later and uh, have a good day.